Hi, my name is Jacob Youngblood. I'm a web developer here at National Control Devices. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up your Ethernet relay controller to work through a virtual serial port. The first thing you want to do is go to one of our Ethernet relay controller product pages. And then under the resources section, you want to choose network drivers. All right, and from here in this drop down box, you want to choose your operating system. And I'm using Windows XP. And you'll want to download RealPort for Windows. Looks like that. Save file. And once the file is completed downloading, you'll want to open that file. And you'll want to extract all files. Select Next. And I created a folder on my desktop named DigiRealPort, just so it's easy for me to find. Uh, you can extract it to wherever you want. Select OK and select next and finish all right and from here you want to select setup.exe unless you're using a 64-bit operating system and then you'll want to choose setup64.exe select run next all right and this will find all the Ethernet modules on your network. Uh, you can identify which relay controller is which according to the MAC address, which is printed on top of the Ethernet module, which is where you plug in your Ethernet cord. All right, and you'll choose the one you want to connect to and select Next. Uh, name the device. I'll name mine Device 1. Choose the COM port you want to communicate to and select Finish. And finish. All right, exit out of these windows. And now what you want to do to test the board is go back to controlanything.com and under the resources section you'll see the download software link. Select that and save file. Alright, now you want to open this file and open the file inside of it. Select run and I agree and install. Alright, now hit close. Exit out of these windows. Now what you want to do is go down to the Start menu, All Programs, NCD Pro XR, and open the Pro XR application. From here you want to make sure you have the right COM port and choose the Pro XR radio button. Select OK. Right. Now you should have communications to your relay controller, so start turning on and off these relays. All right, and mine are working fine. Uh, yours should be as well. If they aren't, we have a troubleshooting video which should help you get it up and running. And if that doesn't work, you can always contact us. Our phone number is 417-646-5644. Our office hours are 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. Monday through Friday, Central Standard Time. And if you'd like to email us, you can email our technical support at travis at controlanything.com. And that's the video. Thank you.